All right, welcome to the finale of Phantom Hourglass. Now, I uh, I apologize for the video length. I really did try to do it as fast as I could, but things just didn't really work out. But uh, I did um I I did intent, uh, anticipate that it would be you know at least 45 minutes to an hour, so it was kind of around where I thought it would be. So, and keep in mind, I actually cut out about 20, 25 minutes worth of footage. Uh, like there's a part where I have to, um, you have, to, you have to fight Jolene at some point, or pretty soon, like, uh, as the sword is being forged. Um, you have to, uh, go and fight Jolene for some reason. I guess they decided that that was, uh, an arc worth finishing up, but whatever. Um, and also, I actually decided to just skip through, like, 99% of the Temple of the Ocean King, because it's all just the same, really. Except when you have the Phantom Sword, you can kill the Phantoms. That's pretty much the only difference. So I didn't, I mean, you know, because I get all the spear Gems, uh, the rest of them I get through the mailbox. So the only other prize for me to get are treasure charts, you know? So it just didn't feel like it was worth it. So I decided to cut that out. Cause it's, you know, it's just showing the same shit you've seen before. So it didn't seem like there was much point. Yeah, so I did talk about this. This is a mini game guy. On the other side of the Padan Island or whatever it's called. Yeah, you just have to play the game once and then, like, I think 24 hours uh, afterwards you get uh, get the Wisdom Gem. And I, I see the postman is still rude as fuck and keeps reading all my letters. Only two more and he'll leave me alone forever. Stupid piece of shit. But, uh, yeah, so now I got all the pure metals I can finally get the Phantom Sword. From, uh, Zao, what was his name? Zao's? Whatever his name was. Yeah, it's weird. He Does he even have it? Like, I don't remember. Did he actually explain really who he is at all? Like, well, how is he able to do this again? I don't remember that if he actually mentioned that. He probably did. I probably just kind of forgot. I mean, I do know, I think I mentioned this, but he does kind of look a little bit owlish. I don't know. Kind of like Kapor or Gabor. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Eh, Fine. I guess I gotta be patient, ugh. Oh, well, let's go kick back and chill at the uh, below deck. Or maybe not. Yeah, cause again, yeah, you have to fight Jolene. I don't know why they thought this was like something that needed to like be done for the main story. It's just kind of a time killer. Cause uh, the sword won't be complete until you fight her. Cause the thing, yeah, cause you can like fight her like multiple times. You know, I think, it, I, I don't know if you can get anything aside from rupees as a prize. Like, I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I never thought to actually try. I mean, the only other, other prize would be like ship parts or treasure charts, really. Because I get all the, uh, you know, all the uh, gems, and I never got anything from a Jolene victory. So, I don't know. Yeah, whatever, stupid postman fuck. And then, of course, I, then I go uh, in and out one more time because uh, Muto somehow sends me, a, even though he's dead, sends me a letter giving me my final uh, spear gem. And then I can go power that up, or you know, all my spirits up. Even though I don't actually use any of them except for the, um, for, um, for uh, Leaf. Yeah, how, yeah, how, how did the ghost uh, write me a letter anyway? Well, this is scary. I'm being haunted through the mail system. Yeah, there we go, last gem. But yeah, again, I, I don't use the other two spirits, really. I mean, for the final phase of the final boss, you can't even use Ciela. You know, she's uh, a little bit tied up, as it were. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll just show off the gems. It's all done. Hooray. Well, of course I have. Don't tell me you're afraid, Lineback. I know you're far braver than that. Aw, oh, she got mad because a little kid beat her up. What a what a loser! <laughs> what a fucking pussy! Could yeah, at least she's a pirate, maybe, or maybe she's trying to pick on some kid, maybe. I mean, both of those things, of course. Does she even do anything to the? Like, I don't, does she actually do any actual pirating? Does she have a crew? I don't think she even has a crew. It's just her, isn't it? Well, then again, someone's steering that ship while she's standing on the bow, so I don't know. 
Who knows? Who cares? And firing the torpedoes. I don't know. In yeah, I, I should have just gone and just fought her right away. But I decided, no, I want to get this, um, power up my, um, my sword before I fight her. You know, make the fight go a little bit quicker. But then, like, when I was done, I couldn't find her. So I kept, like, going about the different sections of the map. And I just cut out the aimless wandering. So you won't be missing anything there. Yeah, everything I cut out is stuff that's either, like, not important, like that, or it's just stuff you've seen before, like me going through the Temple of the Ocean King. Because, yeah, I can kill the phantoms, but that's really the only difference. And at, the like, the very last floor, you have to kill a bunch of phantoms anyway, and I do show that. So you get to see, like, phantoms dying either way. Now, one thing I guess I'll mention is um, if you kill all the phantoms on a floor, unless it's, like, a room... Like, remember that one room where the phantom, the red phantom is, uh... Oh, I... Hmm. I didn't realize I cut that, too. Alright. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize I cut the, um... The trip there. Alright. Uh, to this room. I, I didn't realize I, I forgot I did that. Um, yeah, I guess I, I was kind of just slipping, like, wherever I could. Trying to kind of get, um... Things done as quick as I could. Or, like, make the video as short as I could without cutting out anything, like, important. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> it kind of startled me. I kind of uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, that one room where the red phantom, like, I think they're called speed phantoms, uh, has that, like, that gem, like, the circle, triangle, square gem. Um, he, uh, like, that room has a trap door, and you can just kill the phantom normally without the phantom sword. Like, in rooms like that, or maybe, yeah, in rooms like that, uh, you don't get any kind of prize. Because in the, all the other um, floors where you can't normally kill the phantoms... Or at least not all of them. Um, if you kill them all, you get like a treasure chest with like a ship part or rupees or whatever. Or like I think a treasure chart in one or two floors too. And I'm pretty sure that if you go through all the floors and kill all the phantoms, um, at the very bottom you get like two treasure chests full of like really rare ship parts. And uh, and also all the spirits are leveled up. It's all just like just powering up whatever you had. Just an even stronger sword, even higher defense, and even more powerful, you know, lasers or sword laser or whatever. See there, it's like it's like better, more powerful. I never use it ever. And then you know the I, yeah I was uh, I decided to um I uh after a second I yeah I try uh um yeah I was hoping there'd be some kind of like visual aid to go along with it, but no. So yeah, I, and I never re-equip any of the other spirits ever again. Yeah, I did decide just might as well just keep this one because yeah, I do like to, you know, concentrate more on power than uh, you know, defense. You know, you know, it makes the final boss go by faster, so that's always a plus. But uh, yeah, then that uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I cut out me wandering around the ocean looking for uh, Jolene. Yeah, see, she's like standing like on like the little figurehead on her ship, so someone's steering it and firing torpedoes and stuff, but. Eh, whatever. Who will win in a fight, Jolene's crew or Tetra's crew? Link, you know, Link doesn't get involved because that's cheating. Oh. Yeah, how the hell do you know about all this? She talked to a box with a crazy bitch. Yeah, how do you even know about all this crap? Who told you? Huh? What? What? No. You're fighting like a 12 year old. Yeah, she's actually a little bit faster. A little bit more aggressive too. Actually, I actually have a little bit of trouble. I actually have to use a potion to beat her. They suck. Yeah, it's like I swear she like, she her, her dash attack is faster, I swear. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I just was just sucking, but it feels like it's faster than usual. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. But aside from that, it's pretty much just the same shit, really. She just has more health, I guess, probably. And, you know, again, she is a bit more aggressive. Why is she just, like, slashing at Hetra? Just cleaved her in half by accident? That'd be horrible. Like, yeah, if, if, she, if she got broken in half, would she, would she be able to be fixed? Or was it, like, a permanent break? Yeah, I, I'm, I promise you, or I don't know, maybe I just suck, but the whole rubbing thing is, like, it's harder than it looks. Or harder than it seems, well not looks, you can't see, but uh, harder than you would think. I don't know. Like, I really had a lot of trouble with it. I don't know what it is. 
Because, you know, I'll you know, hold down the mouse, you know, the left click button and, like, rub it within that little bubble. But sometimes it just doesn't seem to really work. I don't know. I don't really know how... Like, I don't get it. I don't know. Like, I feel like I should be doing it right, but apparently not. I don't know. Are, are you supposed to... I'm, I assume you're only supposed to do it within the bubble, right? I don't know. That's what I do. If that's what you're supposed to do, then good, but I don't know. Such bullshit you can't attack her while she's trying to attack you. Huh? There we go. Yeah, but it's not quite over yet. Oh, no. She's still mad. Jolene, please, you're fighting a 12, maybe 13-year-old. You gotta just let it go. You, just, you gotta let go of your grudge. It's, it's a little bit sad. You're fighting a little kid. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I didn't, like, yeah, like one more attack and then she's defeated. Uh, I think. If I can actually land a blow on her. Uh, there we go. I accidentally slapped her in the butt with my sword. <laughs> like with the flap of the sword. <laughs> if I was on fire, so that would hurt a lot. Eh. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> uh, don't. Jolie, please. This, is, this isn't right. <laughs> She, she's drawn to Link. He reminds her of Lineback. It's, uh... This isn't, uh... This is bad. <laughs> Jolene's a pedophile. And she left her sword behind, dumb bitch. Yeah, and then she just kind of fucks off. I don't know if you can actually fight her anymore. I, as, as far as I know, she just vanishes from the game. But I, I didn't actually, you know... I wasn't on the world map, you know, enough to ever see her again. So who knows? I would assume not, but I, I I would think the only reason is if you you're able to get like a treasure chart if you fight her enough times. So like, you know, they wouldn't want that to be like permanently missable. I, I wouldn't think. Yeah, because you know Zelda Zelda tends tends to be pretty good with that, with uh, having um, no like permanently missable items. Like honestly, there's not really any I can think of off the top of my head. Really, the closest thing I can think of is Majora's Mask. Uh, we're at the, well, it, this barely even counts, but at the very, very beginning, there's that treasure chest that has, like, Deku Nuts in it, like, way, like, before you even enter Clock Town. Uh, like, you know, when you're in that weird underground forest place. That's the closest thing I can think of, but even then, that doesn't really count very much, I wouldn't think. But, yeah. So, yeah, Jolene has a crush on Lineback, because he's a handsome, dashing rogue. Yeah, again, I guess I just thought that was important enough to, like, demand that the player, like, you know, see the end of it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. It seems, it seems a little bit pointless. Hold, hold, hold on just a second there. I, you're missing something there, Zals. Or how do you pronounce his name? I, I'm going to pronounce it Zals, but I'm probably never going to mention him ever again after I leave this room. Uh, you're, you're, yeah, well, give us a handle, you dumb bastard. What kind of blacksmith are you? Ah, you just gotta hold it like that, just jamming in the bell on Zai, you'll be fine. Huh. <laughs> Time, you say? Eh, something, something, JoJo reference, something, something, because I can't help myself. Yeah, but now I got the Phantom Blade. Yeah, I think just jams, they just like throws that bell him, just hits him in the eye. Yay, let's just see. Yeah, but now we're getting close. Just gotta go to the Temple of the Ocean King, really, and then the final boss. And finally, after after so long. Of course, you know, most of it was just because I kept having to, like, I, I just couldn't make videos because I was too exhausted from work. Well, it's not really the work itself. It's more just the hours. I gotta get up at the... Nine. Um, but, uh, enough about my woes. But, uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, pretty much it, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know there's another, you know, uh, like, 45, 50 minutes. You know, depends on how long I linger at the end. You know, after I, you know, kind of give up my final thoughts, but... Yeah, it's really just kind of the final boss, really. <laughs> In a couple of cutscenes, you know. And, of course, the end credits, yada, yada, yada. But again, I did, I did try to cut out like as much, you know, like a lot of the filler, you know. Yeah, I was just seeing if she had anything different to say. 
I mean, we're approaching the, you know, the final, uh, the final boss. Pretty much just gotta get the handle, and then you can just go through the Temple of the Ocean King and, uh, fight Bellum. And hopefully not die. Ooh. The purple drink. Is it even, wait, did she even, is it not even called a potion? It's just purple drink? That's not good. That's not, that's not good. You can't. <laughs> yeah, it's not a potion. I don't know what it is, but it's purple, and it helps you, so then, there we go. Who knows? It's a mystery drink. What's inside? Nobody knows. Not even the shopkeeper. Hey, old man, give me the handle. Give me that weird conch thing you have. I wanna... Yeah, he's holding it by the blade, the stupid fuck. Out of my hand. Out of my hand. Out of my hand. Hmm. Oh, hey, easy. I almost decapitated the poor kid. Yeah, I want his little, like, conch shell staff thing. I'll use that to beat up Bellum. It's... <laughs> he looks so scandalized. Like, oh, how oh, dare you? Fucking old man, how dare you? I hate your guts. Huh. He just, like, tapes the Phantom Hourglass to the blade. There. Just hold it by the hourglass, you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Phantom Sword is actually even any more powerful than your normal one. I'm not actually sure about that, to be honest. Of course, there's nothing to really use it on except the Phantoms and Bellum anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, generic enemies, sure, but... Eh. But yeah, like, not like really anything worth going to for, you know? If you want to go up, go beat up generic enemies, then I guess you can. I got the Master Sword. I mean, the Phantom Sword. It just happens to look strikingly similar, but with a little Phantom Hourglass uh, motif. Oh, oh, she's like, you're okay, kid? <laughs> Throw out your back? Oh, no, you're too young for that. So what do I do with the old sword? Do I just toss it aside, or...? I wonder, could the Master Sword defeat Bellum? I need I need these answers, Nintendo. I would assume so. I mean, it's just you know you know the sword of evil's bane, and Bellum is evil, evilness. So who knows? Ooh. Oh. She's special. Uh, pff, well, why did he did he mention that before? Like I know, like I know, I think it was some like Bellum attacked her, and that's how she lost her enemies, but. I, or memories. I thought it was like, like he somehow damaged her with dark magic, not just absorbing the memories. I don't know. Who cares? I always find it really creepy when like, um, like monsters or like magical beings in fiction can like consume like abstract things like that. Like, oh, it could consume your memories. Like, ugh, that's horrifying. That's scary. I don't like that. I mean, I, I find it cool, but it's like, it's like, ugh, that's unsettling. I don't know. It's very alien and eldritch. It freaks me out. Eh, I ain't lying back. Taking a leak. What's it look like? Yay. Yay. Yeah. Well, this kid won't be telling you because, you know, he never talks. Yeah. <laughs> well, fine. Fuck you, fairy bitch. Yeah, you oh. Okay, jokes aside, though, you haven't done a damn thing, Lineback. You just drive the ship. How's that giving you a taste of being a hero? Fuck you, bitch. He just walks away. Ugh. Bastard. Huh. It turned out he... It was at this point that actually he finally remembered what her name was. He was just he was just too nervous to add, be like, Oh, yeah, sorry, I don't remember your name. That awkward moment. You know, you know, we've all been there at least once in our lives. 
me many more times because I shit at remembering names. Yeah, what can I say? It's a flaw. Yeah, and then I cut out pretty much like the entirety of the the, the temple of the Oja King, like right around here. Like I, I think like once the the screen goes to black around here. There we go. Yep. All right. Yeah. So again, like nothing really changed. I didn't really even use the hammer very much. I only used it like once, to, like lower some spikes. But yeah, it just didn't really seem like it was worth the uh, showing. Because again, like, I can kill phantoms now, and I have to do it here. I, I can't progress until I do so. So you'll get to see it in action. So. You know, the one thing that's really, like, uniquely different about, uh, you know, this trip through the uh, temple, you get to see here anyway. With all the other shit going on. And again, I didn't want this, you know, I, I, like, I knew this video would probably be at least, like, 45 minutes at minimum, probably. But I didn't want to make it, like, on too long. You know? Like, the original, like, video was, like, an hour and a half around there. So, I, you know, I cut out a lot of shit. Might have been able to cut out, like, a little bit more, like, maybe a minute or two worth of stuff, but, eh. Yeah, then I think it hit. Only time I get hit, I promise. Well, from the Phantoms, at least. I get hit by Belmond a couple of times. Yeah, but this floor is, is essentially just kill all the Phantoms. Because there'll be three waves of, you know, three, you know, the three different types of Phantoms. And three of them you gotta fight and kill. Yeah, but uh, I actually show off a little trick here. Uh, you can use the hammer to um, kind of lure them over. They'll get distracted by the sound and go investigate if you just hit it against the floor. So that's a little tip. Thank you, Zelda Dungeon. I never would have known that unless you t flat out told me. Yeah. Yeah, and then you, or, or you could also just kind of like run in and out of the little safe zone. That that works too, but it's a little bit faster to use the hammer, probably. Yeah, there we go. And then we just gotta kill the gold phantoms, or I, or they might be called teleport phantoms, or like warp phantoms. I, don't know, I call I call them gold phantoms, but that's just me. So is Bellum doing this, or just on purpose? Like, is like is Bellum just like, like oh god, he, the kids here just keep summoning like only three of each kind of phantom. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? And there we go. No more phantoms to deal with. Sort of. You'll see. Ah. Eh. Eh, yeah, okay. Thanks for the heads up, Cielo. There we are. The final room, really, before the final boss, or the first step of the final boss. Oh, okay. Well, I would have gone if you would have just shut the hell up, Cielo. Jeez. Oh, oh no. Cielo, what did you do? Oh, no. Huh. What? Yeah, I saw. I do like how the... It, 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 actually, it, no, I, I don't like, actually. It slightly bothers me that the bridge is still there on the minimap. It's gone now. It should be gone on the minimap, too. Tisk tisk, Nintendo. Yeah, I'm not actually sure if you can return to this room from the main entrance. I assume you could, but... Eh. You know, who wants to risk that, you know? You know, the thing is, Bellum is actually not really hard, honestly. He's a pretty simple boss. Or well, the first wave especially, he's pretty piss easy. I mean, yeah, I do get hit a couple times, but... A lot of that was just me, like, just being stubborn and just refusing to move from my spot. Ugh, he's ugly. He's disgusting, he's got his dick out, it's disgusting. It doesn't look like a phantom, it's more like a... I, I do like how they have to specify he's an evil phantom, in case you hadn't realized. Yeah, but he looks more like, he's just a weird, grotesque octopus, not really a phantom. Yeah, I remember there was some, like, theories out there that he was connected to Majora somehow, because of his eye. It's kind of similar to the one on Majora's mask, but... That one had, like, an, a, a green iris, I believe, or, like, pupil or whatever. Uh, this one's, it's just kind of, like, orange and black, and... Eh, I mean, I guess it's similar, but I don't know. 
I mean, I think it's just, I think it's definitely a coincidence. There's no way they're connected. I don't think Nintendo ever intended that, but I don't even think their the eyes are even that similar. Yeah, but, yeah, the boss is that, you know, pretty self-explanatory, just, you know, like the first phase is, you know, get all the gunk off. And then the second phase is just shoot all the eyes on the tentacles and he'll fall down. You know, yeah, it's all pretty simple stuff for the most part. Until the very, very end. Then it gets a little bit more complex. For the first phase, I mean. Yeah, because they're, uh, yeah, uh, obviously you can't hit the tentacles when they're up in the air. So you just gotta run around and just shoot the ones that are still on the wall. Or pillars. Yeah, and these things, uh, sometimes, yeah, like there, sometimes they'll drop, like, hearts or, like, arrows if you ever run out. Yeah, one thing about this boss I think would have been nice if you got to utilize a few more weapons. It's pretty much just the sword and the grappling. I mean, the, well, the sword, yes, obviously, but the bow and arrow and the grappling hook is pretty much it. You can't really use anything else. Hammer, bombs, bomb chew. You, know, you can't really use anything else. You know, nothing would, well, I don't know if you, I mean, if you drop the bomb by its eye, it would probably hurt it, but you don't have to do it. Yeah, you don't have to use any items aside from the, you know, graphic hook and bow and, of course, the sword. Yeah, see, there, here I'm just, like, refusing to move because I'm just dumb and stubborn like that. So that's why I kept getting hit. But, you know, like, I never really came close to, like, dying or anything. Well, actually, I do during the second phase with the bow, uh, but... We'll get to that when we get to that. But, you know, for the actual, like, sword fighting, I never, I don't think I ever actually get close to dying. Yeah, I get hit a couple times, but, you know. It's never like, oh shit, if I don't drink this potion, I'm gonna lose. I don't think I ever got that far. You know, you know like, my health that low. Yeah. Yeah, but again, like, the thing is, you, you could use other items. Like, you could probably kill these things with the boomerang. Uh, obviously, a bomb... Well, I don't know, could you use a bomb chew? Because there's no mini-map, so could you even use a bomb chew in here? I, hmm. Now I want to know. Huh. Oh well, probably not. There's, it probably just like just probably just won't let you. Yeah, but I'm just kind of curious as to what would happen if you tried. Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, here he gets a little bit trickier. Uh, as you can see, he starts closing his many eyes. Why not just keep all of them closed and just keep something uh, gunk things forever? I, I can't dodge all those things forever, you know, all the gunk things. You know, in reality, uh, you know, Link would get tired eventually. Yeah, Bell, you stupid evil phantom fuck. Yeah, but as far as, like, final bosses and main antagonists go, Bellum is, you know, in Zelda, I mean. I feel, like, yeah, I feel Bellum's pretty low on the list. You know? I don't know, he just doesn't really have much to him. He, there's barely any kind of character. He's just he's just evil. But you know, at least Gandorf had a little bit more to him, especially in the Wind Waker. You know, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, and then you know Twilight Princess too a little bit. Not so, not so much in Ocarina of Time. He was pretty generic there. I mean, he was also a little bit generic in Twilight Princess, but there was still like the whole like Zant thing, which was actually kind of cool. Even though, yeah, I know some people don't like the hijack by Ganon thing. I don't mind it too much. Like, I, it's not, I don't mind it on principle. It's just that they've done it so many times I, I mind, you know. But, eh. Hey, I mean, hey, it didn't happen in this game or Spear Tracks, so there we go. But of course, Spear Tracks does give you a final boss that's eerily similar to something that would, you know, be seen in a Ganon fight, you yeah, so... Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, it's not Ganon or Gandor, but it's close. Yeah, he could definitely sue, you know. But we'll get to that when we get to that when I do spear tracks. Yeah, yeah, you know, I am pretty excited for because I I do call liking that game more than this one. And yeah, what the hell did it just spit up? Yeah, gross. What, you seen your memories outside your body before? What? Ah, go oh god, Seal is dying. Huh. Ugh. That's not good. I, you know more than me. Oh, hello. Hi, Oceus. Or Ocean King, but whatever. So he can just do astral projections now? 
I do love her power here. Yeah, it's time and courage. Yeah, very special. So special. Ooh, time and courage. <laughs> So could she just not use her powers unless she remembered them? Like, could she like activate them by accident or? Yeah, this part of the fight. Yeah, this part of the fight I had trouble with, but um, so basically, Ciel can stop time for she now has the world as her stand. Um, but the thing is, you have to draw an hourglass on the screen. But I thought that like when you would draw it, like a line would appear, but I forgot that that is not the case. You don't see any line appear, so you don't know if you're drawing it right or anything. You know? Uh, yeah, see, then, uh, stop time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so world, though, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Same shit, yeah, it's JoJo references, yeah. <laughs> eh. Yeah, like, I, yeah, it's kind of weird how there's, like, a times one on there, as if you could get more. Yeah, I actually did keep in, like, me struggling, just so you could kind of see what I was going through. Because I would expected, like, a line to appear on the screen, but that doesn't happen. So you don't know if you're, like, drawing the thing. Well, it's a little bit harder to tell with a mouse if you're drawing it right. I swear I even drew, drew it a few times, but it just didn't really register. But there was actually, like, I actually, like, stopped playing and actually, like, looked up a video. Yeah, there we go. I'm just like, oh, like, no lines appear. That, that's what confused me so much. There we go. Time has stopped, and I did it with horrible timing. <laughs> timing. Time has resumed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna put the sound effects in. <laughs> cause it, it, yeah, cause it's only funny if you do it one time. You know, I, I, I can't do it every time you, the time stop happens. And I can, you know, and I can also only do it once when it happens multiple times. But it would just get annoying if I kept doing it. Now that I explained my reasoning, I'll continue to beat the shit out of Bellum. Or my past self will, I suppose. Yeah, even though I do know what to do now, like, you know, like, as I'm playing, like, it's, yeah, it's a little bit specific, you know, it's a little stingy. And also, again, like, when I'm drawing with the mouse, it's kind of hard to tell if I'm drawing it right, or, like, where it, my mouse, what, I don't know, I just, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm not good at video games. Oh, I think this is the last time. Uh, ah, there we go. Ha! If only your stand could also allow you to move and stop time, Bellum. Some sort of star platinum sort of deal, maybe. It's kind of weird. You never actually attack that weird little appendage thing on the underside. You only ever attack its eye. Like, that, the thing on the bottom just screams a weak point, but you never attack it. I find that a little bit odd. Eh, whatever. It, it, yeah, what is that purple goop anyway? Now, why is the place collapsing? Load bearing octopus, I guess. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I almost died. Oh my god. Quick, use the world though. Uh, that was that the world though? I don't think that was. Hmm. It's a statue. I never noticed it down here before. What are you looking at, old man? Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, did Tetris shift a little bit in the background? I think she did. Uh, well, I more fell on her torso, but... Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Ocious, for saving my ass. Wait, was he calling me kid or was he calling me by my file name? Oh no, yeah, yeah, they do capitalize it. <laughs> Here, look. Give her a smooch. That'll make her unpetrified. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ah. I don't know, maybe. Uh, thank you, Ocious. Is there anything you can't do? Jeez. Well, fight off Bellum, apparently. Seems like he just has new powers as the plot demands. 
Teleportation, unpetrification, all that jazz. Hooray! Finally, Tetra, you joined us for, you know, the adventure. <laughs> At the last minute. She doesn't do a damn thing. <laughs> I've been dreaming. I've seen some weird shit. <laughs> yeah, you had like five eyes, and your head was on backwards, Link, it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, she's, Tetra's a lot more polite. And I guess, yeah, I guess it's, it's kind of an extreme situation, so her snarkiness isn't required. Now, fuck you. Fly back. <laughs> I know you're the true hero, Lineback. <laughs> I love Lineback. <laughs> well, yeah, but he also had. I mean, Lineback provided the ship, remember? You know. They had no other way of getting around the world without him, so... Just saying. <gasps> They're gonna touch weird, pudgy, uh, pointy hands at each other. With the <laughs> they don't have any fingers. It's weird. Don't let them touch. It's gross. Oh, hello. That's enough hentai to know where this is going! Oh, no. Fuck! Well, I guess she's dead. Huh. <laughs> Someone help Oceans up the steps. He can't do it by himself. Huh. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Damn it. I thought you died. Bitch. Oh, well. Well, time to start phase two. What does he want with Tetra so badly again? Her divine blood power, I guess? I mean, he just wants to be a dick. I, I, I'm pretty sure, I think they did explain. I just don't really remember, honestly. And the ghost ship is back somehow. He possesses it or fuses with it or something. Yeah, there we go. So it just sprouts like 20 eyes. I see you, I see you. I see everything. Oh gosh, hideous. As if the ship wasn't ugly enough already. Yep, phase two is a boat battle. Huh. Well that's not a sense I thought I'd ever see. Did you just possess that ship? Yeah, but thankfully here the um ship auto drive, so you don't have to constantly be um no, drawing a new course or whatever. Thankfully. Yeah, it's so basically just shoot all the eyes. I think if you shoot at the ship itself, it might, like, stun it or make it slow down. I'm not really sure. Because it does react. It will, like, like, shake and twitch when you hit the ship itself. But you gotta... But it's the eyeballs you're aiming for. I mean, that's really it. Just aim for the eyeballs. And, you know, hit the pink gunk when it flies at you. You can, you know, get you hearts and stuff if you ever get hit. As I do, I almost die. I actually, like, get down to one heart. But thankfully, I never actually die. Um, but yeah, like, the some of the eyes will reappear, but they only do it a set amount of times. So basically, just keep hammering away at the eyes, and eventually you'll win. That's really all there is to say about it. And there's two, uh, well, there are, there are two, like, special stock eyes, like, on the, like, um, on the, uh, deck of the ship. Which, uh, they're a little bit harder to hit. Yeah, but aside from that, this is pretty easy stuff. Yeah, the, that, the third phase is actually pretty interesting. I actually like it a lot more than the other two. Well, this especially. I don't I don't really like the boat battles. I mean, the mechanics themselves are fine. I just, eh, not a fan. You know, you, need to, you know, pretty much just click where you want to fire, you know. Easy stuff, but I just still don't like it. I don't hate it, I just don't like it. That's, that's all it is. And Lineback won't shut the hell up. Lineback, please, I'm trying to focus. Yeah, seriously, he just won't shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah I almost died right here. I've, I would have been so pissed if I died. Well, then again, it probably would just started right here at this fight anyway. But still, I would have been annoyed. But thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. 
Oh god. Oh, so many pink things. Oh god, I should have got more ship parts. I don't know, I mean, I win anyway, so whatever. Yeah, I think pretty soon the eyes stop appearing. Or stop respawning. Yeah, because like, at first I thought, like, oh, yeah, I didn't really remember the fight, so I'm like, do I have to, like, make all the eyes go away at once and not give them a chance to recover, or... But from what I can tell, like, they just kind of, um, regenerate a set amount of times, and then, um, and then they'll just stop. That's from, yeah, that's from what I understand. Yeah, but it's not, it's not very interesting. You know, just shoot the eyeballs until they fuck off. That's pretty much it. And then, you know, of course, shoot the pink gunk as it, you know, to get hearts and stuff and prevent yourself from getting hurt. Even though I failed spectacularly to do that several times. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, I do love how the ghost shit went from this, like, what, like a small, but, you know, or, you know, like, well, a story relevant because, uh, in Wind Waker, he had to go there to get one of the uh, charts he needed to, you know, get the Triforce and everything. Um, but, oh, the Triforce of Courage, of course. Um, but, you know, it wasn't really all too prevailing. It was just like, oh, yeah, there's this ghost ship. It's spooky, and you gotta go there, and, it's, you know, just a bunch of, like, monsters you gotta fight. Ooh. Um, but then it, it became like this really like it, it's pretty much like like one of the central parts of this story You know the, the ghost ship It's what kicks off the whole adventure pretty much That's where you find Tetra and now I'm fighting it as part of the you know final battle, you know Kind of funny how it like like really that's place in like importance There we go After another cutscene I can start the final uh, final fight finally Hey, no breaking the fourth wall, Linebeck. No, stop, stop, don't break the fourth wall. Seriously, come on. Yay, I did it. It's all over. I've won, and nothing and, and nothing else bad will happen. Probably. Yo, Tetra, are you dead? Oh, good. Oh, no. God damn it. Fuck off, Bellum. Um. Huh. Oh. Wow, oh, your ship shank. Uh, your ship sank just like that. It sucks. Oh, and also. Oh, shit, too. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, God. I see enough hentai. I know where this is going. Oh, jeez. Quick, get out. Penetrate it with your sword line. Oh, wait, no. I can't say it like that. Yo, bell him. Oh, God. Um. What? Oh my! Oh my goodness! He did! It. He stabbed it! Way to go, back. Oh no! Oh what? Eh? Ah! Right, what is this? Yeah, Tetra just can't assist the rest of the fight out. Useless bitch! Yeah, fucking Lineback did more than Tetra did. Come on! What, is she out of, what, can she not use light arrows anymore? It like stabs in the face, he dies. Oh, damn it! Yeah, here we go, now it possesses Lineback. And, uh, the final, the real, actual, totally, for realsies, final boss fights. Uh, fight starts. And it possesses Lineback, it somehow becomes weaker. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, I, I don't know if, it, if this face has an actual official name, but I've heard it be called like Phantom Linebeck because of the armor. But as far as I don't know if it actually has an official name or not. Is, yeah, there's a tail card here. Uh, no, but you know it does have that phantom design, you know. So I, I definitely see where the uh, name comes from. So it can generate like a sword and armor too. How many powers do you have, Bellum? Yeah, whatever. Oh, you cheating bitch, he blinked. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm surprised you, you can't, like, pierce through that, like, little outer shell. Eh, whatever. Yeah, and this is, um, why you can't use the, um, yeah, here. 
uh, is why you can't use the um, sword beam during this fight because CL is trapped the whole time. So you're unable to switch to her, so you, even if you get the sword beam power up, you can't use it here anyway. Yeah, so uh, basically the fight's all about just get, uh, you know, stunning him so that Ciela can get the, um, make a phantom, or it's kind of hurting him a little bit. Um, so Ciela can, you know, do the phantom sphere, then you go wait for his eye to open, stop time, use the Waldo, um, and hit him. And just repeat that and then you win. Pretty simple stuff. But yeah, I, I assume like as the fight goes along, his eye opens up like less and less often. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I assume that would be the case. Is there? It seemed like that was the case, but I don't really know 100%. He, he does have one or two other moves. Like, like that's one. And then he also does like a tornado attack. He'll like spin all around the arena. Oh, actually, I think I'm, I, I, oh yeah, I do use a potion, Never mind. I could have sworn I didn't, but I don't, know. I don't think I use another one though. I think that I don't think I use my other potion. Yeah, I I don't know if it's like there's like a set thing you have to do. It seems like the clash happens at random. I'm really not 100% sure. It seems like it just kind of just happens, just whenever it felt like. I'm really not sure about things, you know, regarding if how you get the clash to happen. Yeah, see there, like, I, I'm not really sure how I did that. It just kind of seemed to just happen. But yeah, but it's basically just, you know, second verse, same as the first. Just do the same shit and over and over and you win. Nothing really changed. Again, this, I don't know if you can use the spin attack, like, like early on in the fight, or if it's something that only happens when you do enough damage. I don't know. Yeah, I do have some troubles actually drawing. Yeah, the, yeah, because like I can't see the line, cause, so I don't know how accurate I'm being, you know, which is really annoying. You know, every other time you use the stylus to draw something, or in my case, the mouse, um, yeah, you know, there's a little like indication on the screen of what you're drawing, but not here. It's annoying. I mean, it's a small problem, and you know, it's really not too hard to draw it. I just, I'm just stupid. Uh, well, if I if I was using the stylus on a national DS, it would probably be ten times easier. Uh, but it's still a little bit like it's like why? I, well, I guess because it'll be in front of the action, I guess. But I don't know. Well, I guess it is not that big a deal. I mean, hey, I still win anyway, so whatever. Yeah, and I think this third time, you know, w once I actually managed to hit his eye, you know, it takes me, I think it takes me a little bit of time to get the, uh, third, uh, yeah, because he, yeah, he, it doesn't seem like he has it open nearly as long, or as, nearly as often, it feels like. And I swear he does this attack more often. It certainly feels like it. But I think the next, like, wave of attacks, you know, from me to Bella will be the last, I, I think. Yeah, there's not much time left in the video, so I gotta do the ending cutscene, credits, the epilogue cutscene. Yeah. I think I'm about. Come on, open up. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Aw. Son of a bitch. You're cheating, Bellum. You're not supposed to be able to close your eye. I guess it's kinda like its mouth? I don't know. Its mouth. His eye is in his mouth? Whatever. It's weird. I don't know. It's weird. Weird alien biology, I guess. Alright, uh, almost done. I, yeah, I think around here, maybe. Yep, there we go. I think this is the last, uh. There we go. Alright, he's done. Game's over. Cutscenes, and then we're, we're done. Alright, final boss. Yeah, he was alright. I wasn't too fond of the second phase, but the you know, the first one was a little bit simpler than you would expect. And Link, I'm not feeling so good. Oh man, I'm gonna get so much sand. I'm gonna be able to linger in the Temple of the Ocean King for hours. <laughs> yeah, but this fight, and then this last phase was like the lineback thing. I thought it was pretty uh, pretty cool, or like, kind of like a clever use of uh, lineback, I guess. Oh yeah, thanks for helping out there, Tetra. You bitch. With your stupid lightning sideburns. Your stupid red bandana. Your stupid waving. Fuck you. I hope you fall in the water. <laughs> so much sand. Good Christ. It's still coming out. I 
I'm gonna stab the shit out of that sand. No, kid, what are you doing? That's the that's the motion to cast a spell to resurrect Bellum. Don't do it. So I guess he it got sucked into the Phantom Hourglass Sword, I guess, or the Phantom Sword rather. I don't know. Hooray, Limebex alive. I'm so worried he was dead. I was gonna start crying. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh. Don't worry, Lineback. You're nice and weak, so it wasn't a big deal. And I'm pretty sure you made, you know, Bell less of a threat. With your added power. <laughs> ah, you're fine, Lineback. I can never stay mad at you. Don't worry, you didn't even come close to kill me. Don't worry about it. You suck. <laughs> Who knows? Bellum didn't really see... It was taking a sweet fucking time. We would have been all day for, you know, waiting for him to decide what to do. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Grandpa got squished. He smeared all over the the deck of the ship. Oh, hey, Tetra. Glad you could join us. Yeah, Tetra feels like such a side character. I mean, I guess she is in this game, but, you know. <laughs> like, he just starts getting electrocuted. <laughs> just falls to the ground, twitching uncontrollably. He survives, of course. Can't have him die. But still, it hurts like it hurts like the Dickens. Whoa! It's the windfish. Or, wait, no. <laughs> Wrong game. Never mind. Never mind. This is wrong game. Forget, forget I said anything. And, and Tetra too, I guess. That was a big old whale the whole time. The white whale, kill it. You're so ugly like this, old man. Ew. I do like how he keeps his big eyebrows. Yeah, what kind of whale has eyebrows? Yeah, whatever. Let me touch her stand there like she did a damn thing. Oh. Hey, that's right. Oh. I wish I was. <laughs> what, what kind of wish would he make? I wish I was a god! Even surpassing you! Ah, damn it, alright. Oh, man, that's a lame wish. You could have one twice as big. Yeah, you, he's lying back, you silly goose. <laughs> oh no. Hey, hey, that's an important spear. You can't be doing that. I love how stretchy CLA is. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I always thought this was really weird. Why is this like another? Is, is another world? But why? It's just some other world, I guess. But I don't know. It's weird. Can't, why can't this just be like some isolated part of the ocean? Why does it have to be like its own separate world? I don't know. It's, it, it just doesn't seem like there's really any reason for it. What? So like the entire world, the Ocean King, is just like these four sections? How's that work? Yeah, and Lineback was, wasn't Lineback from this world? Why is he going back with Link? Because, you know, uh, Jolene knows who he is. They met, and, or I don't know, can people just go, like, between the worlds that easily? I don't know. I, I'm putting too much thought into this. Yeah, but, you know, Lineback is from the, the, or he, you know, seemed to be from the world of the Ocean King. So, I don't know. 
It's weird. I, I do I do like uh, Ciela and Linebacks little uh, you know the relationship. It slowly started to become kind of like begrudgingly friendly. Like ah yeah you screw you Sparkles you're all right I guess you know. Yeah, but it is weird how Lineback goes back with Link. I don't know. Or you know he goes back to his world. Considering Lineback again he first showed up in the Ocean King world, so I just assumed he was from here. The Jolene seems to be from here, and, you know, they met, you know, when they were younger. I don't know. What do you mean you serve him? What do you even do? You don't do a damn thing. Just come with me. <laughs> I actually kind of felt a little bit sad here. I don't know. Like, permanent goodbyes just really get to me. You know, like, even if both parties are still alive, it's just a... Just like, okay, we'll never see each other again. Bye. Just like, ugh. Oof. Oh, I just... Wretches at my heart. I hate it. It's so sad to me. I don't get why. There we go. Fam Hourglass. So, I'll be honest. In terms of the Zelda games I played, this is definitely among the weakest. It's like bottom three. I mean, I don't dislike it by any means. I would say the only game, Zelda game, I even come close to disliking is Skyward Sword. But this one, it's... It's, uh, it's alright. Again, I don't dislike it. It's just... It, meh. It's alright. It's okay. It's not particularly spectacular, but it's not. It doesn't have any like huge, overbearing flaws. I'm not. I, not that I think, at least. Like I kind of mentioned, like the Temple of the Ocean King and the revisits, but eh, they honestly weren't that bad. They were alright. They weren't nearly as painful as I remember them being. You know, and like each time they kind of threw some new at you, so it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, honestly, aside from like Ciela and Lineback, and I guess a little bit of Ocious, there weren't really too many like outstanding new characters in this game. I mean, Jolene, I guess, a little bit too, but yeah, there, there is a little bit of a lack of memorable characters, you know? Like, you know, Wind Waker had, you know, uh, Bakar and Medley, Errol, that's her mouth her name, right? The Rito girl? Uh, you know, well, Tetra, well, should Zelda even count? I don't know. You know, Link's grandma, you know, the Deku tree, kind of, uh, Baloo, uh, let's see, and then, like, um, I don't remember their name, but, like, the, like, the rich parent, the poor parent, and then their daughters, and they do, like, this witcheroo thing. You know, like, they're a bit, you know, even though I can't remember their names, they're still, you know, I can still remember, like, the little story arc they went through, you know? And, you know, uh, and, um, you know, and then, you know, Tetra's crew pirates, yeah, I, like they were all like a bunch of little goofballs. Uh, but yeah, but like, in this game, it's pretty much just like Ciela, Lineback, a little bit of Ocious, and I guess Jolene, and no one else really stands out at all. You know, the temples were okay, but none of them really had that like real oomph to them. You know, I don't know. Like most temples in most Zelda games have, you know, that little bit of like, oh yeah, that temple, I remember that. But here's like the Fire Temple. It's the one with fire. The ice temple. It's the one with the ice and it's slippery. You know, they're, they're okay. The t I don't think any of the temples were outright horrible, except for the ice temple. But they were just kind of like, oh yeah, it's that temple, I guess. Like, like some of the boss mechanics were pretty cool. Like, uh, like, e like, uh, Eox, you had to kind of utilize both screens and, um, the, I can't remember its name, the green, like, hermit crab scorpion thing. Like, how you would see it from it, like, they have like a POV shot at the top screen, you know? And then the Goron Temple, you switch back and forth between like the Goron Kid and Link. You know, look, look, interesting mechanics. I like that. You know, and then like the first boss, you had to like look at the mini map, and that's how like the order you had to use the boomerang on like the like when it split into three, you know? But yeah, I, I, think the, I think mainly this game is just, it's less that it's bad, it's just it has like a lack of good things, I think. If that makes sense. Like, I don't think it, any part of it, except for the ice temple, really, is inherently bad. It's just like, eh, again, like a lack of really memorable characters, a lack of memorable temples. Eh. Like, it has some good things here and there, but uh, it's just kind of middle of the road, just, eh, it's alright. Like, I can honestly say, I, I don't know if I'll ever actually play this game, like, ever again. I don't know. Maybe I will, but I don't know. I know if I do, I'll certainly play it on the DS, that's for damn sure. You know, properly. But, yeah, it's, it's okay. Again, like, definitely among the weakest Zelda games in terms of the ones I've actually played.
But I don't dislike it. Eh. Ah, yeah, so, you know, some pretty funny bits. Some of the mechanics were pretty interesting, like how some of the weapons were changed up, you know, like the grappling hook and stuff. Or the, like, the big old hammer, but... Or how the bomb shoes were changed. Yeah, I did like that little twist at the end. Like, yeah, ten minutes, you know, it's like this weird otherworldly adventure. I don't know. Yeah, like, and then, like, the whole twist, like, oh, it's like it's all other worlds. Like, but why? Why couldn't it just be its own separate thing? And then the ghost ship vanishes, so I don't know what the deal with that is? I guess they just stayed in this world long enough for, you know, them to get back on their own ship, and then it vanished. I don't know. Because, you know, Linebex, he, like, appears at the very end, so it makes it known, okay, it was not a dream. And then Link also has the empty Phantom Hourglass. So it was all clearly not just a dream, but, like, why is this, there is other world? And, I don't know, it, it seemed like a, a needless, like, last minute, like, twist. Like, oh yeah, by the way, this is a separate world. Like, oh, okay. But why? Like, why can't it just be like this isolated stretch of ocean? You know? I don't know. Yeah, why is there, like... like so I guess the Golden Goss has flooded the entire planet. Not just Hyrule, I guess. I don't know. Because there are countries outside of Hyrule. Obviously. Like, the entire planet isn't just Hyrule. That'd be really weird. But yeah, so it was still overall, I mean, it was a pretty, it was okay, a pretty nice experience. I admit, I really would love to have Link, a Toon Link, rather, you know, Wind Waker style kind of Link, reappear like in a proper 3D console game. Well, you know what I mean by 3D, you know what I mean. But, you know, like, pro like not have, have him have the weird, gross little, like, polygon fingers, you know, have some actual, like, HD graphics. You know, bump it up from how it is in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. You know, I would love to revisit 2 Link in some way like that, but it just doesn't seem like Nintendo's interested. Which is unfortunate, but that's just how things work. But I don't I, I don't I don't think there's really anything else I really need to say. I've kind of said everything I wanted to. So yeah, again, so I like basically bottom line is it was alright. I, I had I had a decent time with it. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad it's over because I do like Spear Tracks more, which of course will be my next, you know, playthrough in the kind of my ongoing on and off Zelda series I'm doing, I guess. If I could really even call it that. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like within a week or so, I'll have the first video of that up. You know, because again, I do, you know, I do love Spear Tracks. Well, not love, but I do like it more in Phantom Hourglass. That's for sure. I, I can definitely say that off the top of my head. You know, without have you know without replaying because it's been a while since I played Spear Tracks too. It's been years and years. I think I've only played through it once, you know. But yeah, like so for this game, like again, I don't know if I'll ever replay this game ever again. And if I do, it's definitely not gonna be on the emulator. Fuck that. Uh, no, no real other final thoughts really. I I I think I pretty much said everything I really needed to throughout the videos. You know, like how I feel about like the controls, the combat, you know, like I, you know, like how you like only use the stylus. I think that's kind of an interesting little gimmick. You know, like the boat, how you control the boat exactly where it goes without using the wind, etc. It, you know, it's all okay. You know, it just kind of middle of the road, very just, yeah, it's a game. And it has enjoyable moments, but nothing too spectacular, especially considering it's a Zelda title, you know. And, you know, a sequel to Wind Waker, which I, you know, consider to be one of the best Zelda games, personally. But, uh, yeah, again, like, everything else I want, I want to say about this game, I've said throughout the videos, so I'm not going to repeat that all here. So, yep, yeah, that's the end of this playthrough. So, for anyone who's sticked around since the start of it, uh, thank you for watching. And, again, so, like, within a week or so, I shall start on Spear Tracks. So, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.